842. Oh, hey, where, uh, I forgot where, where, where are we doing again, Ryan? Chowder! Yeah, we're making some chowder. All right. We're big chowder fans here on the show. And, uh, you know, it, you can say chowder, but is it really the real thing? Not until you hit the East Coast. Let's be honest. Alain Bosset is here with me once again. We're talking saltscapes and uh, being able to taste the uh, real, uh, authentic taste of the region when we're t talking about the East Coast. Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, right? That's correct. Okay. And we've got some beautiful ingredients for this chowder. Yeah. It's going to be great. You can give I can't it a little help stir. I can't help but stir. I don't know why. Yeah, I started a little bit. I did uh, some beautiful double smoked salmon. Uh, yes. Salmon. Oh, my God. No. It's too early in the no, morning. No, it isn't. What, it's what's double that, smoked right? bacon. Oh, yes. Yeah. Double smoked and bacon. Beautiful <laughs> Digby scallops. Oh, yes. And tarragon and some lobster. Yeah. And this is this is a double smoked bacon straight from Nova Scotia? It is. It's one of our Taste of Nova Scotia member, the pork shop. Okay. And uh, this we flew in. Uh, and uh, brought a slab with us so we could do this beautiful chowder this Fantastic. morning. The smell mixed with the tarragon and some chives. Fantastic. And you said that like, um, that, you know, chowder isn't just chowder. There isn't just, there isn't just like I'm making a chowder. There are different chowders and they range considerably in taste from region to region and even micro region to micro region. That's correct. And, yeah. and you have even certain regions say, well, everybody has a claim to fame that they've got the best chowder yeah, in the of world, course, of yeah, course. Yeah. And, but what we're doing, uh, Taste Nova Scotia has put together with all their members a beautiful chowder trail. And it's kind of neat because you arrive and you've got this beautiful little passport. So when you arrive it, at the border, you get a tourist bureau, they'll give you a nice little passport. Yeah. And you get your passport stamped oh, in like all the different places. So it's kind of entertaining as well to try the chowders all around Nova Scotia. I don't Scotia. care who has is the best chowder in the world. I have to tell you, all I care about, well, really, the winner is the is us, the people eating it. Um, so, you've put in some bits of lobster now, and I what have. did we just put in there? That looks a little this, different. This is, because it's very important to utilize every part mm -hmm. possible, one of the ways to enhance your chowder is to add tamale in the row, which is the inside the body of the lobster. A lot of people don't eat it. They yeah, don't like not it, in my family, they eat all of it. So yep. they're really So when you it. open it up, you have a little bit of tamale in the row. The, the tamale yeah. itself is, is the greenish colored yeah, it's, stuff, yeah. which is really the extreme, liver of the lobster. Oh, is it? It's yep. extremely fl flavorful. Yeah, it's tons of flavor to your chowder. Yeah. And the row enhances the color, of course, because of yep. the red, which is our eggs of, of the female gotcha. lobster. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. But so. uh, we're really here this weekend to uh, to to the Queen's Key area to mm -hmm. uh, do uh, the Saltscape show. We're bringing uh, the East Coast to Toronto. And yeah. It's going to be a wicked party all weekend. No kidding. Music, culinary stage, lots on the go. It's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, you get to know everything you want to know about the Maritimes. And if you've ever had the incline of wanting to visit, this is the place to go. Yeah, it's actually kind of like a uh, a, a quick little a primer, if you will, for, for uh, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick. Now, uh, I grew up in Toronto, and um, the folks there are going to have a great time, especially in the waterfront there. It is absolutely perfect. And you said Queen's Key, right? It is just a perfect spot. You're really going to love it. Uh, and anyone who goes is really going to enjoy uh, themselves there. So um, I think we talked about the ingredients that have totally gone in here. Um, we've got the bacon, double smoked bacon from Nova Scotia. We've got the scallops. We've got um, lobster as well. Tarragon, um, tarragon a little bit of chives, salt and pepper, some, and uh, some East potatoes. Coast potatoes from uh, Nova Scotia, right? That's correct. All right. And they're delicious too, the little russets. Cool. They are. They're, mm -hmm. they're fresh. Actually, a lot of the uh, the smaller farmers in our farmers market actually grow them in seaweed. Ah, so when really? they pull them out of the ground, they're nice and clean already. They don't have to clean it up. No, it's I know. I love farmers that. trick. And I love the neat, um, kind of bright that, color. That's a good idea. Yeah. And I love the the skin on it. Right. It, that's really great for you too. So. Yep. And that's a chowder right there. And look how you know what the, sometimes you see a chowder. It's really overly thick. This you can really see the chunks of ingredients. Again, going back to the chowder idea, nobody does a chowder the same way. Right, so true. you can go from one place to the other, and if you ask somebody what their favorite chowder is, it'll be grandma's or it'll be a certain <laughs> restaurant to yes. steal a friend's quote. Yeah. But it's really, it's really about that. Talk about when people come to the uh, uh, Waterfront Festival, what are they going to be sampling? Like when you say you know, it'll be a great party, I know that, but will you get those different regions and tastes as well? Are you representing it that way? Yeah, we are. Uh, we actually uh, will have about uh, 65 different uh, attractions represented, and you'll be able to literally walk your way through new, through uh, the East Coast, which is really neat. And then you enter. So as into you come to a different section, it'll be like now this is like Sackville, uh, and then you move on, and it's like uh, different different places throughout the. 
That's correct. East Coast, you, Amherst, Nova Scotia, or wherever. Yep. You know, whoever's you'll being walk, represented. You'll walk through the pavilion, and you'll see all that. We Isn't have that cool? some of our soldiers from the Citadel. We mm -hmm. have uh, we have some uh, fiddleheads. We have all kinds of stuff going so on. So maybe this isn't the year that you go to uh, New Brunswick or Nova Scotia, but the year you get the idea, book a plan for the trip next year. Well, or you could do it all in the same year. Well, I, I, there's so many activities going on. Yeah. I mean, the tall ships are coming to Nova Scotia oh, yeah. this year. That's going so to be a cool. huge, huge event. Yes. And there's always... Culinary tourism is a real, real thing when it comes to Atlantic Canada. So that's the thing. Come and, and visit us. And you actually had some big, big names come visit you uh, in Nova Scotia very recently. We actually had the pleasure of entertaining the uh, Jamie Oliver magazine mm -hmm. uh, this Sorry. week. Sorry, uh, while you're speaking. Yesterday, I I'd take advantage. And we're actually going to London next week. And uh, is that right? Working with Jamie 15. Oliver's team. Yeah, for Canada Day celebration. Mm. For mm. Falgar Square. Mm. Is that good? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a good sign. Mm -hmm. They can't speechless. That is so good. This is a quiet dinner table when this is served. I guarantee it is, you that. It is. That is delicious. So this weekend is going to be this an amazing weekend. event. When is it? Is it in the starts, afternoon or? It starts on Thursday. Uh, it goes all the way to Sunday. It mm -hmm. starts at 10 o'clock in the morning and it goes all the way to 11 o'clock at night or or as or they say, 1059. Yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah, whenever you get yeah, shut down. Exactly. For the next, and we, we're going to have demos on stage literally every half hour and musicians every half hour this on is top of everything else. Clearly the world's biggest kitchen party, let's it, be honest. Let's face it, that's yeah. what it is. Okay, yeah. great. You yeah. want to check out some of the best that East Co the East Coast has to offer in terms of culinary? Nova Scotia, New Brunswick are bringing it to the Red Path waterfront festival and uh, saltscape should be just amazing. So Ella, good luck to you. Have a great weekend and enjoy.